Hey guys, got a video here for you on uh, how to set up PDA Net on a Windows computer. Uh, what you need to do is you need to have PDA Net installed on your iPhone, of course. And then you can come here and download the PDA Net desktop for Windows, which you see right there. Now there's two versions. There's the regular version here, and then right here you'll see the 64-bit version. Right down here. Uh, depending on which computer model you have, make sure you download the correct one. So we'll go ahead and download this one here because I do not have a 64-bit computer. It's going to take you to Send Space, where the uh, download is hosted. And right here is the link. I'll zoom in on that so you guys can see a little better because there's two blue things. You just want where it says iPhone150.zip. Select that one. And then here, we want to save this file. And the browser I'm using is uh, Firefox, but it's going to be the same with Internet Explorer. You want to select Save. It's an extremely small file. It's already downloaded. It gets finished downloading. So what I'll do now is uh, go to my download. Bring it down here so you guys can see it. This is what I download. I'm just going to double click that. And what we'll need to do is extract it. Uh, because it is a zipped file, we need to extract. Uh, there's different uh, programs out there to extract things. I'm sure you folks know how to use uh, those programs um, to extract. Um, what I'm going to do here is just select Extract To, and I'm going to put it on my desktop. And then here is where I can choose Desktop right here. And then I'll move down and select OK in just a second here. And again, it's an extremely small program, so it's already extracted. So what we'll do is uh, just clear all this stuff out because we don't need this open right now. And then we just need to locate the program that we downloaded, which is called, again, iPhone150.zip. And it's right down there on my computer. And we'll back this up. Don't you guys love my camera work? Anyhow, uh, we'll just double click that. And what we're looking for is this file right here. And guess what it's called, guys? iPhone150.zip. And what we're going to do is double click on that and we'll set it up. It doesn't take more than just a second to set up. So we'll go ahead and run through that. When that little box pops up, you just want to hit Allow. And we'll zoom in so you guys can see this a little better here. There we go. And we're just going to select Next. And then we're going to want to agree or accept the agreement. And then hit Next. And what it's asking us for here is you need to have iTunes installed on your computer. PDA Net installed on your iPhone and Windows 2000 XP or Vista. Sorry, Mac and Linux users, this one, to use it the way I'm going to show you how to use it, uh, there's no program yet for it. So we're just going to select Next. And it's going to go through a check of the iTunes. It's also going to check to make sure that there's a modem driver. And then you're going to see that it says this. Oops, sorry about that, guys. You're going to see that it's successfully installed. So what we need to do there, just click finish. And we'll close out this window. And if we take a peek, that's just my iPhone being plugged in, guys. Now what we need to do on the actual iPhone itself is just uh, put it into USB mode because we're going to use the the sync cable to plug it in. So we're going to go to PDA Net on our iPhone and then we hit the settings menu which is in the bottom right and then this will pop up. And you can see right now it's in Wi-Fi router mode. We want to get it into USB mode. And what it's telling us there is we need to have PDA Net desktop installed which we just installed. So I'm going to close that and then as soon as we got it in USB mode just hit done on the bottom right and you can close out PDA net 
go ahead and drop the iPhone down and then what we're going to look for is a little icon on the bottom right of our computer it kind of looks like an iPhone or it looks like a phone with an Internet Explorer on it that one right there on the far left and this is all we need to do we need to go down there and click on it and then we'll see connect you don't need to mess with the settings you don't need to mess with anything else just hit connect and it should go ahead and go through and connect what I'm gonna do now though is my iPhone is currently set on Wi-Fi it has to be on 3G for it to work uh, you can't share your Wi-Fi signal you have to share your 3G or your edge signal so I'm just gonna click off Wi-Fi on my iPhone pop up the 3G network and then we'll slap collect or connect here and you'll see it go through this little checking thing and verify using native word password authenticated and boom we are online it takes maybe just a minute for it to catch the network <clears throat> each time when you set up that's all you have to do is just go to that little box right there and select connect and just make sure your uh, iPhone uh, is set on USB mode in PDA net so next time I want to use this basically I'm going to plug my iPhone in I'm going to come down here and then select connect and then you're online that's it pretty simple there is another way to use your iPhone uh, as a Wi-Fi router where you don't use the USB cord but I highly suggest that you do use the USB cord mode because using Wi-Fi mode using it as a router or um, um, through the cord like which we just showed it drains the battery really bad so it's really recommended that you just uh, go ahead and plug it in anyway and use the um, the USB mode that I showed you right here if you guys got any questions let me know but I think that's pretty straightforward everybody should get it uh, I believe you all have my email address any questions let me know guys